Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This video tutorial I am making to demonstrate how can we determine periodic achievement using Primera software. When we are developing a program, we are making particular activities and particular milestone to demonstrate or to check the performance of the project. So once we are our project is progressing, we need to report that what achievement we did in, the, in a particular period of time. So the Primera is an excellent tool to determine these activities. So let's see how can we do it. So to do this in Primera, we need to take the latest updated program and then assign the previous update, which maybe depends on the period. For example, if you are doing going to do for weekly reporting, you need to assign previous week update. And similarly, if you are going to use the determine the monthly achievement, you are uh, you need to assign the previous month update. So in this video tutorial, how we will see how can we assign the baseline to a updated program and how can we determine the achievement using the filter option. So let's start now. First we see that in Primera when we are how we can assign the baseline in Primera. So it's very simple. We just open the updated program and then we go to project option. In the project option there's a maintain baseline. When we are going to click the maintain baseline there's two option came which is a save a copy of the current project and other is convert another project. Save a copy is an option is an option we are using sometimes to to save our original work. For example, if you are going to experiment something or to do what if analysis and you want to save your original work also. So in this case, you make a copy of the program as a which is so stored inside the program as a baseline. So if something happened wrong, wrong, you want to revert back to all the situation, you just uh, restore this project and then uh, your original baseline will uh, updated program will be there. And other op option is that we convert another project into baseline. So we are using the second option, which is convert another project to a new baseline of the current project. Okay. Now, once we assign the baseline, we need, we want to know how can we determine this uh, periodic update. So this to know this, uh, determine this uh, activities, we need to use the filter option. And in the filter, we are using the option that finish date within a range of data date minus period. For example, if you are going for monthly achievement, you are doing data date minus 30 days or for similarly if you are going for monthly update you are using data date minus 7 days. So now we will do the same in using the Primera. So now our Primera pro uh, software is open now. Now we need to up, uh, import two program which is first, uh, first is the up latest updated program. So we just go file import and in the import option we just select our uh, program which is 20 March. Okay, you can see a date of 20 March. So we just select a 20 March update. Okay, and then go next and then I'll select our location. In this case, particular case, I make uh, separate as EPS, uh, which is enterprise project structure. And in this structure, I have make one primary training. We have make one folder 001, which is uh, it's EPS you can consider as general uh, Windows language as a folder. So I make separate for EPS 01. I select this one and then just select this one and go next. Now the program of 20 March will be imported into my machine. Just wait while for a while. This way is finished now. See, you have 20. We have now 20 March updated program and 13 March updated program. I just show 13 March also. Just open this one and we just go here and press F9. You can see this 13 March updated program. Once we done this one, just close this program and open the latest update, which is 20 March. We open the 20 March program. Once this program is open, we need to assign baseline. So we go project, maintain baseline. In the maintain baseline, we go again add. When we go add, there's two options. Save a copy of the current project as a new baseline which I explained before. So if you need uh, to keep the copy of the baseline program, updated program, uh, 
and you are doing some uh, experiment or what if analysis you can make uh, this option and most of the time we are using another we are using another project as a baseline so this section of second option we are using now which is convert another project to a new baseline of the current project okay so we just select this one and then go okay and now we have this 20 march and 13 march okay so we just select 13 march because this is our previous previous update so this is our weekly report so we are using previous week update and similarly when we are making monthly update uh, monthly report we are using previous month update so in this case we just select 13 march updated program press ok and then it will be assigned just wait a while once this it is, it is appeared here now you can see the program the project is meant is uh, is uh, is uh, there as a baseline but till now we did not assign it so we just close this one and go again project and assign baseline in the assign baseline you can see the baseline is still the current project so we just open this one and we select just recently converted program which is 13 march program just make both project baseline and primary baseline should be both same sometimes the dates are taken from the project baseline and sometimes it's primary baseline so it is recommended when you are assigned a baseline, assign both for project baseline and primary baseline. So once we assign baseline, just select OK. Now our baseline is assigned to the project. Okay. Now we are going to make a filter. And you can make very filter out periodic achievement filter because this uh, filter you are using every week. So better it is better to have particular for uh, filter make it one time and reuse uh, reuse it again every week instead of making every week new and making a lot of uh, unnecessary stuff on your system to be uh, it is better to make one uh, particular filter and reuse it again for the next report so let's see what is the contents of this filter so once we modify this one you can see that finish date is within range of data date minus period and if for example yeah, we are using weekly report, so this is seven days report. Similarly, if you are using bi-weekly report, it will be 14 days. And similarly, if you are using monthly report, it will be 30 days. So it depends on the period of your report, you will select seven days, 14 days, or 30 days. So this is our value, and high value is the data date. So it, it means that you are taking the data date minus, or you go back to the period of one week, or two weeks, or one month. So this is a very easy filter, it's not very complicated. So, but just keep in mind that your data, uh, your finish date is within the range of data date minus or previous one week or two weeks or one month. So once you assign this filter, just select this filter and press apply. So once you apply this one, you can see all the activities you did or finished in the pre previous week or previous uh, period you can show here. For example, this LPO, you can see it was zero last week because you can see here baseline project complete zero and performance now 100%. Similarly, door shutter architrave installation which was 90% now 100%. Similarly, iron mongery 50% 100%. So in this case, what activities we achieve 100% will be shown here and then you can attach this particular page from the Panamera as evidence in the, your report or you can make a uh, narrative report in the with the help of Excel or uh, uh, MS Word, which is recommended by or requested by your client or your consultant. So in this case, it's very easy to determine monthly update, periodic achievements, what we achieve in a particular period of time. I hope this will this will give your uh, knowledge little enhancement to how to how can we determine the periodic update and how can we report this in our uh, in our periodic reports to the client or consultant. So if you like it, please give a thumb up and please like, share and subscribe my channel. See you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.